All right, Bola Buddies, we are going to pack up some orders. So we're going to go pull them and then we're going to get them shipped out. I'm also going to be doing an unbagging of some free plush that I got. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to mix it in like I do. So this is a reseller vlog. Okay, Bola Buddies, I have a few tips and tricks in this video also where I share with you a different way to send offers. And I'm going to bet 50% of you don't know about this. So stay tuned for that. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to cross post some items using List Perfectly. So, I'm going to do a little demo for you. If you watch that and it's something you're interested in, you can use coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. So, stay tuned for that at the end. Hey, BOLO BUDDIES, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, I'm going to start out with a little whatnot preview. If you're not interested in seeing what I'm bringing to whatnot tonight, just hit that fast forward button. All right, Bola Buddies, we are going to spice up the crafter show tonight with some of these natural stones. It looks like I've got some earrings in here. Who knows? This came out of my money pile. We're just going to look through it, grab some things, and sell them. I've still got all of these amazing beads. I didn't even get to the beads. Um, so we're going to be selling those in small lots. Here's some more beads. These are the more beads that are in packages. So those are all new. Down here is just... Um, more crafters items. Here's some sewing things. This stuff we've not gotten to yet. I just have so much stuff. Um, I think I've had three or four crafters shows and I probably have two or three more. Got some really pretty heart brooches that I'm gonna be bringing tonight. This is all pendants and different things. This is just full, so we're gonna be doing some of those. I've got some bags of earrings, different earrings. So it is going to be a great show. So I hope to see you guys tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And there is a link down in the description. If you want to join Whatnot, you'll get $15 to shop. Or you can just click on that link and it will take you over to my Whatnot, which is Bolo Buddies. All right, we are heading over to Tote 29. This first item is a, I think it's Boy Scouts. And I'm turning on lights here. And I sold this for $15 plus shipping. So let's go find it. All right, we're in tote 29. Is this gonna be an easy one to find or a hard one? Let's see if we can find it. It's just a little um, ribbon with different um, badges on it. That is not it. I may turn off the camera, look for it, and come back at you. I'll be back. Oh my goodness, good things. That, good thing I did not make you guys dig with me the whole time. So this is what I sold, and it's got all of these cool little pins on it. Now, a lot of times the newer stuff or the not super, super old can take a little while to sell, and it is, so it's a long tail item, and it's a bread and butter item. This one's pretty cool. Um, it wasn't super long tail, but if you can find the really, really old Boy Scouts patches and pins, some of those can go for crazy money. Definitely do a deep dive search into that so you know what to look for. All right, this next item is from that huge Bart Simpson haul I had a long time ago from the thrift store. I sold out of so many items so quickly, and I had four packs of these The Simpsons. Um... Valentine's. Two of them sold really quickly and these two just sold. So these were more long tail and I sold these for $24.80. One is from 2001 and one is from 2002. So they are definitely vintage and you can see the original uh, price right here, the $1.44. So um, vintage items definitely can be a bolo. The next item is in tote 41 and it's a little item and it is going to be probably a little bit crazy to find. Oh my goodness. Because it's teeny tiny. It's not teeny tiny, but it's a small toy. And I sold it for $7.44 plus shipping. And I'm going to find it and I'll be right back. All right, I found it, but it was not in the correct tote. So I'm going to show you what I do to find the item if I put the wrong tote. So it said it was in tote 41 and it was actually in tote 32. So 
This sold for $7.44 plus shipping, and I'm gonna tell you how I found it. It would be great if uh, mistakes never happened, but they do. Um, one thing that I do is I will list things, and I list a bunch of things all at once, and sometimes I put them in the wrong tote. It happens. Okay, so let me show you how I found the item. So I went back and I looked at the date that the item was listed, and then I went in and I looked at my items that were listed on the same day. So let me show you. So many figures definitely can be long tail, okay? So this was listed on December 11th of 2021. I definitely need to be relisting these items because they're a little bit stale and they would probably sell quicker. But if you notice on December 11th of 21, these all say tote 41. So I completely messed it up. Typically one or two of these would have the correct tote, but no, not in this situation. So I need to go in and I need to change all of these to uh, tote 32 because I made a mistake. But if you look right here on December 11th, this one says tote 32. So that is where I looked and um, I just need to switch these toys because I was probably going to put them in 41 and decided to put them in 32 for whatever reason. So I'm going to update those right now and it's really easy to update because you can actually just click on this. Oops, I don't want to update that one. I'm sorry. It's this one. And I will just have to change this to 32, which is kind of frustrating, but it's going to save me time the next time I uh, go to look for this item. So there's my background. People ask me when I record. You see it right here? It's just jeans hanging. It's not a curtain. You guys, I'm not crafty. It's definitely not a curtain. All right, so let's go on to the next item. Um, a viewer reached out to me and said, I need this plush out of my house now. Can you come get it tomorrow? I'll give it to you free. So this is the third bag I'm doing. Bag of plush. See if we got anything good. Anything fun? Definitely fun, right? Gotta get a gunned. And I think I had a reindeer out of another bag that I listed and it already sold. It was a bread and butter. And there's something in this playing music, so I apologize. Um, Precious Moments Lamb. Do you hear it? We should try to find that and turn it off. Is this it? No. All right, this is by Lamaze. I was gonna say this looks like a Lamaze toy. Um, we're just gonna have to listen to that music for now. It is like a, a spider. He's so cute. Please be in the right tote. We're going over to plush tote 11. I got this um, plush at a garage sale for 25 cents. The Peppa the Pig uh, elephant was also a garage sale for a quarter. So cost of goods, super, super low. Are some of these items big money? No, but my cost of goods is like nothing. Easy to list, easy to ship. Can you make money selling low dollar items? Yes, are big money items better? Of course, but it's all profits. It's all making money. So you guys do what works for you, but these bread and butter items add up. All right. So I know that when I listen to the Rebel Reseller, she talks about, you know, just limited resources in her area. And, you know, she finds a lot of bread, bread and butter and she sells a lot of bread and butter. And I just enjoy toys and stuff. So it's okay for me. Like it doesn't bother me. I just enjoy listing these types of things. So when I go to the Goodwill bins, I source a lot of bread and butter items because I like it and I love my job. And I want to keep loving my job. So I source things that I think are fun, like this guy right here. I mean, look at him. Look at his teeth. He's like a flip dino. I've never seen anything like it. So let me tell you what he sold for. Isn't he cute? I think he was in one of my live listing shows for some reason, because I was like, who is this? He's from 1987, got him at a garage sale for a quarter, and he sold for $18.60 plus shipping. So I will take those margins all day long. This is another thing that is animated, it looks like. It says duck season. It is by PBC. So yeah, it definitely does something. Oh, look how cute. It's on its arm. Oh, it's like a, well, I don't know what it is. <laughs> P 
pink and blue march of dimes sweetness pink gunned where are you i hear you is it you it's you oh turn off turn it off turn it off well we know it works there's got to be an off button right it's driving me crazy i've been hearing it for days there's not an off. There's not an on and off. Are you kidding? Okay. Um, we'll just pull him out right now. What is it? Uh, he's got a long tail. He's a little bit like, well, maybe a little matted on the tail. It doesn't look as fresh. Is it a squirrel? Oh, it's got a hole. It's got a hole. All right. That's okay. I'm going to donate this one just because um, it's by Fiesta. Maybe I should look it up just in case, but I think I'm just gonna donate it. So we'll leave that right there. We have Fluff and Stuff, Puppy Dog, and MB Wolverine Corporation. Not sure, never heard of it, but little cute puppy. Is that like a lab, maybe? I'm so bad with animals. All right, this next item, I just noticed, I think I have a stain on my shirt. Um, sold for actually i'm not going to tell you what it sold for lights are coming on get ready ah, lights on we are going into the room the letter tote room so i'm going to move some totes around here and this item was very very long tail now it is fruit and i will tell you that some sells really quickly and other is others are long tail um if you can find like the stone fruit those do really, really good, like um, alabaster stone, stuff like that. These were different. I picked these up at a thrift store for $1.75. I wasn't sure if they were going to sell quickly, sell slowly, but they sold. I paid $1.75 for them, and I'm going to show you what they look like. All right, let's see how quickly we can find it. This is an easy tote. They're right here. So it is this funky looking fruit and I'm gonna get some better light for you and show you that here they are so I called this beaded jeweled fruit and there may be a better name for it I sold these for $18 they kind of look sugared that one looks sugared I maybe that would have been a good word for the title these two are a little bit different but I paid $1.75 for all of it sold it for $18 plus shipping took a while to sell I think if I had better keywords they may have sold quicker and maybe even for more money but they are great little home decor fruit so definitely be on the lookout for fruit all right Bola buddies so I am under send offers I'm going to click on the item here I'm going to put in my offer price if you click here you can send a coupon of your choice so I've already got coupons set up and if I click on this, they will receive a coupon offer after they either decline or accept my offer. So that is going to encourage the person to come back into my eBay store and maybe make a purchase down the road. Now, the bad thing about this is you have to do this from your computer. This is not offered on the app that I know of. If somebody knows a way to do this from the app, please let me know. So I don't do this very often. Do I think it would help generate more sales? Yes. Now, if you do not know how to create coupons, I do have a whole video that will show you guys how to do it. It's a tutorial, a demo video. So definitely check that out. Coupons, I think, are really important. That is where the person will type in the coupon code at checkout to receive the coupon. So definitely check out that video. You can type bolo buddies coupon into the youtube search all right so let me show you something else here you can go in and do a whole bunch in bulk and set a percentage off so i can say 10 percent off of all of these items and then i can add the coupon i'm not going to do that because there are certain ones that i do not want to do 10 percent off on so i'm going to go back out of here and i'm going to go back over and i'm just going to select a few select items and do those in a batch. So let's go ahead and just pick some of these and then we will go back up to the top and hit send offer and it's only going to choose the ones that I'm clicking on right here. So there's three different ways that you can do this. One by one and decide how you wanna send your offer. 
in bulk and just send them to everybody all at the same time or like I'm doing now and I have selected certain ones to send offers to. But I think sending out that extra coupon is definitely a bonus feature that a lot of you may not have known about. So stay tuned, I am gonna do a list perfectly tutorial at the end of the video. Okay, this next item sold on Poshmark for $15 and I think I only put it on Poshmark. I was like outside, I was going through some stuff and I just actually slapped it down on the concrete and took a picture. And in hindsight, it probably would have maybe sold for more if I would have put it on eBay because it's a crafter's item and it's actually a pretty good crafter's item. So let me flip the camera. I actually kind of wish I would have brought this to whatnot because I know these crafter's items do really well on whatnot and I'm going to be having a ephemera crafter show coming in the future. So these would have been great for that, but I had already had them listed and they already sold, but these are sewing patterns to make dolls. So I will pop up a screenshot. These sold for $15 plus shipping on Poshmark. Okay, this guy's cute. Is he from, um, I thought he was from that one show, Pets, I think it's called. This says 50, 50, 50 gifts. And I think it does something too. So we'll have to put some batteries in him and check it out. We have a little elephant, the flag on it. That one is a TY. You know what? I had another one, but I think I stuck it in a lot on Poshmark. That's what I'm doing with some of these that are small and that I don't want to uh, list individually. Happy Easter. Happy spring. I love selling bunnies. These always do pretty good during um, Easter. And this one's pretty cute. It says Bloomer Bunny. Uh, here's another Precious Moments. I'm probably going to lot up the Precious Moments. The tags are a little rough. This is the seal. So we got the seal and the lamb. Here's another TY. I'll probably lot up the TY tie. I always say TY tie together. Um, here's another one. It's a dragon. I personally do not source these. Um, not my thing. I know some of them can go for bread and butter and be decent, but I usually, I don't buy them. Now, in this situation, I will probably put them in a lot on um, Poshmark, price them pretty low, and just see if I get any bites. Here's a antelope. Is that an ant antelope? Yeah. Anteater, not antelope. Ha! Anteater. Um, now, this one's kind of cute. It's really cute, actually. That'd be good for Easter. Here's another one. So yeah, these are all going into a lot. And this one is L-E-R-C, Lurk Coastal Cubs. I'll look that one up just in case. Um, that is not a tie. My money pile has not changed. <laughs> all right, so I mentioned whatnot and bringing some jewelry tonight. This is also full of jewelry. This is full of jewelry. This is full of jewelry. This is full of jewelry. So there is gonna be lots of jewelry in the future on my whatnot shows because it's quicker and it's easier and I can really show the beauty of the products when I'm actually in front of the camera. So I'm leaning towards doing most of my jewelry probably on whatnot because I never seem to get to it on the uh, selling platforms. All right, I am looking for a um, it's kind of like a sleeveless cardigan sweater. Here it is. It's this right here. It's this Susan Bristol shirt, and this is super, super long tail. I did have multiples of this. The other one sold more quickly. This one's been hanging around for a while, and I sold it for best offer of $15 plus shipping over on Poshmark. All right, so I'm getting ready to ship this out on Poshmark, and this I picked up at Gabriel Brothers, I believe it was Gabriel Brothers or it was TJ Maxx, on sale, on clearance, it was $3 with tax. Now this sold on Poshmark and on Poshmark, you're allowed to use the flat rate envelope. So I always use the bubble mailer for uh, clothing. Super easy to just put some uh, tissue paper, throw a sticker on it and then plop it in here and it is ready to go. Oh boy, what do we got going on here? Who's this guy? Oh, ho, ho. He's a Santa. 
And he does something. The Polar Express. Hallmark cards. He needs a battery. Plush in here. This is Marty. He's by Russ Berry. And he is cuteness. Let me see them eyes. There he is. Look how cute he is. Is he a moose? Or is it a reindeer? Marty the moose, maybe? This is Hammer Best, Hammer Best, I think. And it's a zebra. Not sure on that one. I think I've listed some of those, but not had much success with that brand. Doesn't mean I won't. Um, another cute, adorable bunny. This would be great for Easter. You can put something down in the front. I just want to say thank you all so much for following me, subscribing to me, watching me. I just hit 29,000 subscribers on YouTube. Whoop, whoop, 30,000, here I come. Thanks to all of you that share my videos and that support me. You guys are awesome. Okay, so this is that plush and you say, why all the bubble wrap? Well, he had those fingernails that were plastic and I typically cover the eyes and I'm just gonna put this in a poly mailer, a bubble mailer. So I just wanna make sure that those fingernails or whatever you wanna call them, the claws are protected during shipment. This is another um, Lurk and Lyric, and it's got the little lighthouse on it. So maybe I can put those two together. Somebody may be looking for those. Another TY or TIE. Sorry guys, that probably drives you nuts. Oh wow, what's this guy? He looks old. It's in a little rough condition here, but Kamar, what is he? Um, copyright Kamar, made, hand made in Korea. What is it? Is it a fox or a dog? Huh. I'm going to list him even though he's not in the best condition because I think he could be, um, like somebody out there could be looking for him. Okay, so I just had an offer come on, come on, come on in on this right here. It's a Brighton little clock. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I had it listed on sale for $24 and I can't remember how many cents, but somebody offered me 18 and I want to get those sales coming in. So I am going to go ahead and take that offer of $18 plus shipping. I probably have, I don't know, 75 cents in this, maybe a dollar. It's $1.89 a pound at my Goodwill bins. This weighs three ounces. So definitely going to make a profit. Would I have liked to have sold it for 20 or 22? Yes, but I'm going to go ahead and take that $18. All right, Polo Buddy, so I just did a shorts video about an express dress that I bought a long time ago, um, and I bought probably close to 100 of them, and I'm getting down to the very end, and I used to sell them for anywhere between $20 and $35 a piece. I am now selling them for $50. $50! I just sold one on Poshmark for $50. I only have three left. I'm so sad. Um, I have two mediums and I think a small and I just sold a medium. So I have a medium and a small left. That's it. Um, I paid a dollar each for these. They were uh, $10 with 90% off. So I got them for a dollar each and I just bought the whole rack. But I've also been selling these probably for three, four maybe even five years. I don't know. But um, basically, I controlled the market on these. And as I'm sure other people in this area that had these listed sold theirs. Now there's only a few left. So they're selling for more. So the market has picked up on these. And I only have two left. I'm so sad. But this is going out on Poshmark for $50. Okay, Bola Buddies, so I thought I would go ahead and do a List Perfectly demo for you. The first thing I do is I clicked on that little green dot. That means I'm going to do this in bulk. I'm going to pick seven items here. And I have the business plan, which is $49 a month, so that I can do the bulk um, option. Now, 
I do recommend the pro plan, especially if you're going to use the catalog, but I do not use the catalog currently. Um, I just prefer to list my items to eBay and then cross post to the other platforms. But I do miss out on a lot of features by not having the catalog. So right now I am going in and I'm, I'm adding PMMC to these listings so that I know these items are also listed on Poshmark and Mercari. That's how I keep track of it. Now I go in here and I'm going to hit Mercari and Poshmark and then it is going to pop up all of those fields for me. So it's ready for me to cross post. So right now during this downtime, I will typically send offers um, on uh, eBay or other platforms to just kind of take up the time and space to utilize my time while these items are pulling up. It doesn't take that long. It really just depends on your internet service and how many items you decide to cross post. I'm doing seven, so it is pulling it up in Poshmark and Mercari, so that's 14 tabs that have to pull up. But it's cross posting all of that information over for me, and then I'm gonna show you what I have to do to finalize each listing on each platform. Now, with List Perfectly, you can cross post to many, many different platforms. I just choose to cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. I was doing Etsy for a while. I was also doing Facebook for a while, but it's just, I've got too much going on. So Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay are my main platforms. And as I said before, I am now selling on whatnot. So I really just have to consider my time and figure out what works best for me. Now, Etsy is a platform that I would love to expand to. I have lots of friends that are doing really fantastic on Etsy. If you have vintage items or handmade items, definitely consider getting over there to that platform. And you can use List Perfectly for that. I think there's like 10 different platforms like Depop. I'm trying to think of the other ones. Grailed. There's some new platform I've never heard of that you can now cross post to with List Perfectly. So uh, definitely check that out. All right, so once these items are all pulled up, I am gonna go in and I am going to add in the tags. Let me know on Mercari, do you guys use this field, the tags? I'm not sure how important it is or if it the title is enough. Like, what do the tags do for Mercari? So if you skip that field on Mercari, let me know because sometimes I just feel like skipping it, but I'm afraid to um, because I'm like, well, maybe it's really important. All right, so that item's on Mercari, bam, done. Now I'm going over to Poshmark and I'm putting the item on Poshmark. So there are certain fields that you still have to fill in manually. I will also tell you that if you have the pro plan, more things come over, uh, more of the fields cross post over. But for me, the um, business plan works great, but uh, definitely recommend the pro plan if you're using the catalog or if you want it to be even quicker. All right, so this is a little vintage nativity set made by Hallmark. It had pre pretty good comps and it was a harder to find item, so I did price this one up. So on Mercari, I do free shipping, so I will increase the price of the item on Mercari to cover the shipping, and then I use Pirate Ship to ship my item. So that is what I do for Mercari. On Poshmark, you have the standard set rate shipping cost, which is fantastic for heavier items, five pounds or less. I always say I like to put my board games and like heavier items over on Poshmark because it's uh, just under $8. No matter what it is, um, it ships for that one price if it's five pounds or less. If you have an item that is over five pounds, you pay the difference in the shipping. That comes from the seller. So keep that in mind. Um, if you list an item that's eight pounds, you are going to have additional shipping charges that are paid for by you. So they're going to come out of your profits. Um, Mercari does uh, take a percentage for the processing fee and then a fee for Mercari. Can't remember what the total is, but I don't think it's off awful. I think it's comparable. And if you guys are not selling on Mercari, I do have a link down below. If you use that link to join Mercari, you're going to get $10 to shop. And then if you sell $100 worth of items, you're gonna get another $20 to shop on Mercari. So that is great. That's with my referral link down below. And then I also have a Poshmark referral link down below. If you use that one, 
you're going to get $10 to shop on Poshmark. So um, definitely check out those links if you're thinking about joining because you get credit to shop, money to shop, free money, I like to call it. And one thing you can do with your free money is you can buy something to resell and then you're making money, right? Always like to do that with my credits. All right, so we are just gonna continue to cross post these items. I always say more platforms, more eyes on your items. A lot of times people on Mercari and Poshmark, they don't buy on eBay. They only buy on those platforms. And on Poshmark and Mercari, the money goes into a spot where it is held until you decide when you want to put it into your bank account. So you can also use that money to shop, use it as a credit and not send it to your bank account. And a lot of people choose that option. They just sell so that they can buy stuff. So those people are not looking on eBay. They're looking to spend their credits. There's items that I've had listed on eBay and they do not sell and I cross post them and they sell immediately on those other platforms. And I know that eBay is starting to let you um, use your money as a credit also. So that's something new that eBay has started doing uh, lately. I think you have to opt into it. I have not. Um, I would just go ahead and pull my funds. And if I want to buy something, I will just use my credit card so that I can get the points. All right. So we're going to continue to do this here. This is a duvet cover. If you don't know, they can be a really good uh, big money bolo if you can find the right ones. Discontinued or um, harder to find patterns, they do really well. So I usually price up my uh, duvet covers. So I've got this one listed on both Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay now. This is another item that's great for Poshmark because you're going to get that cheaper shipping price. This is a uh, item that is artisan made and it is local to my community and he's a local artist and I've sold him in the past. I ended up finding this one at a thrift store and it does have a missing piece. It's damaged, but I still think it's going to be a big money bolo. So I'm hoping to get anywhere between 40 and $50 out of that. And again, I've probably sold two or three of these. I find them um, I mean, I wouldn't say all the time, but I have found them on multiple occasions. All right, we are going to keep cross posting here. If you guys have any questions about List Perfectly, let me know down in the comments. Again, there is a coupon code Bolo Buddies, all one word. You can use that to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. I have been using it um, since 2019, and I still love it. It's a great, great service, um, great community of people. Customer service is fantastic. I just, I have nothing to, bad to say about List Perfectly. Absolutely love it and highly recommend it. So there is a link down in the description of the video if you would like to check that out. Um, there's a demo video that shows you how to use the catalog also down in the description of the video if you want to see a more in-depth, detailed uh, tutorial. This is just me cross-posting some items and getting some new items on some other platforms. So definitely check out the full tutorial. All right, you guys, thank you so much for checking that out. And all right, you guys, those were my Saturday sales. So um, got all day Sunday still to go. So hoping for some cha-chings today and hope to see you all tonight at my whatnot show at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching.